Last time, I promised to talk about robot figures in anime. So I want to talk about these figures or tropes. So this is how do the robots work as figures for how we figure out the world, but also as kind of metaphorical or other rhetorical figures. So I want to talk about them in three ways. The first is labor anxieties. The second is what is it, what is it to be human? And the third is, are you a robot? As we saw before, robots are often these domestic tools. Thus, they're about labor. And in terms of parables of labor, there's kind of two subcategories that we see in Time of Eve and many other media about robots. The first is labor exploitation, and the second is fear of your labor being displaced. So here we have Sammy being kind of exploited, the exploited servant or mother of the family. So robots are like subordinated wives or slaves or employees. So they, they bring up the ethical challenges of power and care in a complex society. These are the kind of things that, so stories about robots help you navigate the relationships of power and care that you are in. Hence, they emphasize getting along, right? <laughs> the, in a, as a parable for labor, it's also about fears of displacement. Now, this is the idea that you're going to be pushed aside, right? And this is a kind of a popular trope about real robots right now, that the evolution of AI is going to make robots efficient enough that they're going to displace you from your job. So this is, this is where Time of Eve is really relevant to the contemporary moment. Here we see a newspaper in Time of Eve that says teachers will be replaced by robots. Here we have Masaki's father, who his deepest fear is, is that the robot has replaced him in his son's heart. And here we have Sammy playing piano, which reminds us of Rikyo's fear of he was replaced, he was pushed aside by a robot piano player, and he resents that Sammy wants to play piano because he feels displaced by robot piano players. And finally, the two tropes of exploitation and displacement come together in this character. The lone, lost, caring robot who's been illegally disposed of. This character reminds us that when you can no longer do productive labor in many societies, you're just thrown away. Second figure of robots in anime asks us, what is it to be human? So this is where the robots help us figure out what we are and what we're like. And we learn that there's two really important qualities, wonder and love. I love in Time of Eve that the robots are being anthropologists. So anthropologists study humans and human patterns of behavior in societies. The androids are studying the humans to try to better understand them in order that they can be better at being androids. So I love this, the robot anthropologist. Alpha reminds us that wonder is the quality of being human. If you can appreciate the sublime beauty of a sunset, then surely you are human. This cannot be quantified or reduced to economic terms. Curiosity is another aspect of wonder, it's active seeking aspect. Here we see Sammy investigating something, not because it's going to make her a better worker or because it's part of her programming, but because she genuinely wants to know what, what it is. And finally, over and over and over, we're reminded that it's love that makes us human, love that makes us human, love. Each of these images has been characters, robot and human, who love each other. Why does it matter if we love and robots love? Why do we need to be proved this? Because of the third trope. And this is the trope that asks, are you a robot? All around us, we're filled, our ears are filled with stories from the sciences that tell us that we are like robots, that what we do is automatic, and that we're not in control and we don't have choice. 